Hello. It's going to be a hot weekend for some of us as temperatures are expected to reach 30 degrees Celsius in some towns and cities and we almost reached 30 degrees in northern parts of Wales on Friday. But it's not unusual to get these sort of temperatures in June. In fact, if you look at the past years, we've regularly approached the low to even mid 30s. But I think a greater chance of catching some showers and thunderstorms across many western parts of the UK. And remember, hail, thunder and gusty winds and then it's back to sunshine again. So a bit of a mixed bag in some areas. I don't think the cup, I mean, it's big what they're going for. Not quite as big as the cup behind you, but it's big. It is, it is indeed, yes, a uh, big, certainly not as big as that in a, in a physical sense, but, but very big when you consider just what is at stake uh, here today, yes. Sunny there in Istanbul, should we show you what it's like outside here in Salford? Because it's a beautiful morning. Actually, that doesn't do it justice, <laughs> does it? Well, it's a, that's it. Simon's that watching not. that with us. It's a curious picture, that. It's, it almost looks like it's not very sunny, but it is a beautiful sunny day, isn't it? It is it is clear out there. It's just the sun is too low in the horizon, so it's going through quite a lot of the atmosphere before it reaches us. Uh, so when it rises further, you'll see more of a blue sky, definitely. Yeah. You see, trust you to explain that in a meteorological <laughs> sense. No, it makes sense now, because we look out the window and it looks absolutely glorious. It's yeah. just not caught on camera there. Morning. And it will be a glorious day mm. for many of us. Not all of us like it hot, though, but it will be a hot and humid day, but with that heat and humidity, well, there'll be some thunderstorms developing into this afternoon. It's been dry for many weeks, even months, uh, for some parts of uh, the west of the UK, so some welcome rain, but it'll, there'll be a lot of rain in a short space of time. Eventually, those showers will die away, and it will be quite a warm night. These are the typical temperatures at about 10 o'clock. I guess when many of us start to think about going to bed, about 15 to 21 degrees Celsius, so quite a, a sticky night to come. But generally speaking, as we go into next week, those temperatures remain pretty high, 25 to 26 or 27 degrees Celsius across many areas. And as you can see here, there will be lots of dry and sunny weather, just the risk of the odd shower or thunderstorm popping up, I think, uh, during the week. So that's just something we need to be aware of, but otherwise, plenty of sunshine. The other thing to note, of course, is that UV levels will be high, if not very high, but nearing the summer solstice, so the sun is very high in the sky, it's the strongest it can be, and the pollen will be high, if not very high, as well. So just a couple of things to be aware of. If you, if you enjoy this fine and sunny weather, if you are out and about, just bear that in mind over the next few days or so. Show you some pictures this morning, because it's, it's that time of year when it is sometimes really... We're the lucky ones. Simon, aren't we? Simon's on the weather with us today. We're the lucky ones to be up this early in the morning seeing... Yeah, yeah. You know, visions like that it was London, and now we're seeing Salford where we are here. However... Okay. However, as beautiful as that is in the morning, I think you're just hiding it at the moment on this shot, but you soon will show... Some people won't be happy with what's behind they you. They won't be. Many of us might enjoy temperatures up to 30 degrees, but, of course, there are some vulnerable people who... 30 degrees will be too, too hot, mm. uh, and that's why there is a heat health warning uh, which has been issued as well because of this heat. Uh, but, again, those temperatures will be up into the mid to the high 20s, perhaps even, again, 30 degrees Celsius. Now, if you like the heat and you're enjoying the fine weather this weekend, bear in mind pollen levels, high to very high. The UV forecast is also high for most of us. We, we've been showing you various images. We saw London earlier on, looking lovely. Salford here, it's looking lovely. This is Weymouth uh, this morning. We're doing a story, actually, about seaweed there, which is causing a bit of a problem. But just for the moment, I think, Simon, we can look at that and think, that <laughs> looks nice, doesn't it? Good day for the beach, if you like the weather. Uh, if... Hot and, yeah. And you get a bit of breeze. And a bit of breeze as well. It'll always be a bit cooler around coastal areas, actually, yeah. And I think some people will be grateful for that, because it, be. it can get too hot for many. It can be, yeah. Some of us might enjoy temperatures in the high 20s to uh, 30 degrees, but not for everyone, of course. And if you're in a vulnerable community, then it might be problematic. So that's why there is a heat health alert in force over the coming days. Uh, we saw that picture in Weymouth, and another fabulous start to the day here in North Yorkshire. A little bit of cloud in the sky, you notice there. Well, you join me here on the beautiful Weymouth Beach with its crystal clear sea and beautiful sand. However, as you join me here, I'm stood amongst a large stretch of seaweed, this marine algae, which is giving off quite a strong smell as it's rotting, as it's been brought in by the sea. Some people in the area have said that the smell is really strong, but the town council have said that they want to leave it to nature to do its own thing and eventually be washed back out to the sea. Uh, more on that in a few minutes' time. So, here we have it. 
despite this line here, which we are assured will go back out to sea at some point. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the glistening sun on the sea and how it's sparkling over there. Beautiful beach here in Weymouth. Lindsay, you've brought us um, joy this morning, gorgeous views and a little bit of a whiff, but nothing too traumatic, I think, from the people you've been talking to. Lindsay Kinghorn there for us in Weymouth, yeah. beautiful Weymouth. I think it's always, we always temper, it feels like this is the first big run of high temperatures yes. that we've seen this year. Yes. But we do always temper it because it's not everyone's cup of tea, is it? That's right, yeah. Uh, and there are some vulnerable communities who, of course, struggle with heat up to 30 degrees Celsius, and that's why there's a heat health alert out over the next few days because we are going to see heat wave conditions actually uh, for many parts of the UK in the coming days into next week as well. A beautiful start today if you like the sunshine of course uh, there in Brighton this morning. Simon was listening, he's in the studio, Simon <laughs> you know what I was talking about don't you? I was looking at that uh, to, so, like Simon's he was head, as if it were on his head right? Simon's you know. head was in his hands the way all of ours were. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly what you're trying to do Charlie. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, John wasn't having any of it though was no, he? No he didn't, it just didn't work. Right, well, we've got some uh, bright, sunny weather this morning. This is the scene at the moment in Kent. Some hazy sunshine and temperatures already rising. Already up to 22 degrees Celsius in Kent, but widely across the southeast of England, approaching 20 Celsius. For everyone across the UK, tell us, Simon. I have indeed, Charlie. Yes, good morning, everybody. We've got more sunshine and a hot day for many of us, but it hasn't rained for weeks in some areas. Now, if you believe uh, the weather law, well, some of these cows are lying down. Maybe the hint of some showers. Yes, there are some of those in the forecast with some thunderstorms later on as well.